Hello everyone, Nick542 here, and welcome back to the random Mugen Mania. So next time we're going to be using the extra form of the Scarlet Little Rhapsody last life bars I'm using today. Because I've been using them last week. Not because, you know, like I noticed that some of the fires can well their small fires can be blocked by some of the things from our fires, but I think that not many of them can be blocked in the extra form rather than the normal form. Most of them are the video carriers with their first thing. But also, some fires will be removed from this roster in the future. I'll reveal what they are later on, but some of them might be for the same reasons. And finally, before we started, I was going to hold a stream today, but that's been delayed until tomorrow because scheduling conflicts. So keep that in mind. Regardless, let's get started with some matches. Okay, looks like we got... I forget what her name is. I think she's from Time Crisis. I might be wrong. But where is she? She's going to be rounding out the team on the left for this first match. Maybe she's from Time Crisis. I might be wrong. And looks like we got... Ugh, I forgot their names. Oh yeah, it's Renny the Gala. That's who he is. Running out the team on the right for this first match. Awesome for this Rice Life Striper. And on the Mega Battle Network 2 stage, technically it's... And the Cyberverse from... And Scripture, but... Yeah. Looks like we got Asuna, Adelheld Bernstein, Wraith, and I believe it's one of the Sega Fighters running out here on the left. Let me pull this up real quick. Maybe she's from Capcom. Yeah, she's probably from Capcom. I think about it. That might be wrong. Either way, Race Blythe is crushing it. Kai from Shadow Force is back. The rock. Oh, Kai is back. To be the second member on the team on the right. Got one of the I My Root characters, then Benny the Gala. Also, it's making a comeback. Uh, that's so having so many characters. Sometimes you just get her in the bar. They look close to running out the first match of this intense battle. Rice Blaze Spriceberg is recovering. And just defeats Asuna in the nick of time. Even though 20 seconds are left. Alright, next up is Adel Bernstein. Alright. Race Blight's doing some mirror damage on Adelhide, but Adelhide's towering in battle with his own moves. Rice Blight is recovering, misses the hyper attack, <laughs> and looks like it would stunt her, or him, or... I don't know. I haven't played Mary Blood as much, so I don't know what Rice Blight's gender is, so maybe I'll read that later on. Probably in the description, but yeah. Hi from Salvors is back! And Halo Hell Halo Hide is just the first hit, but Kai is fighting back. Oh, I found who it is. It's Lisa. Not Lisa Simpson, but I believe she's from a Sega game. Either way, Elhai just defeated Kai. Next up we have is... Xenon. She's fighting back with her intense projectiles. Hey, like, fighting back with his kicks and Harriet from Google. 
And Xenon prevents no CD from happening. This game were close for his first match, guys. But who knows what can happen? Xenon is just crushing Wraith right now. With their lasers and decals. Wraith playing back with his grabs. And other wrestling moves. I'm sorry, I don't do I don't watch wrestling, so I if I don't know certain wrestling moves. Forgive me for my lack of knowledge. After a few hits from Wraith, including some grabs, Xenon just still won. Well, despite some grabs, Xenon still won. Now we have Lisa. She's from a Sega game because she's with the Sega characters, and I like to, you know, put characters and franchises together. Either way, I think Xenon might take it because. I'm not sure if the Scarab next is going to be able to keep Xenon. Who knows? We'll see a comeback. He missed! Oh, that just got hurt with some gunshots. That will be enough. We still got a long way to go. But it ends here for here. Sorry with that, Lisa. Either way, it looks like the right team has taken the win for this first match. I'll probably research what game Lisa's from and list in the description. Everyone's wondering. But yeah, next match. Alright, we got Mac and Knife running oh, out our next team on the left for this next match. And we got Double D running out the team on the right for this second match. Hit Drago versus Pachirisu. And we're fighting on X Shadows Mario stage. Particularly the one that's based on Easter Mario Bros. But it's a null in certain games. Like, I see Mario in the background. Alright, looks like we got Kid Dracula, Songo. One of the last Blade characters, and Mac Knight versus Kachirisu. I think that's. Dayose from Toho. One of the Kabuki Flash characters and Double D. Pachirisu is fighting back even though Kid Dracula is having more advantage here. But who knows? Getting real close right now. Kid Dracula is still in the lead. Pachirisu is charging up power, so... Maybe if Patrick goes down, that power can be used against Kid Dracula. And probably could, because Patrick was just defeated. Here comes Dayusei. There's a battle to be won. Let's wrestle. I believe the third carry is Dikyo. Yeah, it's Dikyo. I remember one time he did cause destruction in one of my tournaments. As for the character from Movie Clash, I believe it's Monto. And looks like that say defeated Kid Dracula. Now we got Songo from Yasha. I would say, wrecking the place. She's not letting Songo get a hit on her. Guard break, right there, and... Zion just got crushed. Unless she got a few hits in there, but even then, not enough. 
but Shikyo might be able to change things. Well, maybe not after that explosion right at the beginning. Oof. That might be because I nerfed his AI patch. Just to make sure he doesn't cause too much destruction. Either that or Dios just got real lucky there. Oh, looks like we got some right problems with that super there, but Dios might just take no CB this time. That might do something. Who knows? Or not. That's an OCV from Diosei from the Tolo series. Yeah, that's the new version. The other version I had wasn't as strong. Alright. Time for the last match for today. Okay, we got... I believe that's Akane Inukawa's sister. Yeah, Nazuna Inukawa. Oh, Inuwaka. Sorry about that. Inuwaka, not Inukawa. Inuwaka. Alright, let's see what we got. I forget his name, but he's going to be running out of the team on the right. Wait, I believe that's Blade. Yeah, it's Blade. Never mind, I. Needs time to think about who he was. All right, Blade's running out of team on the right for this last match. Here we go. Yunasa versus Ryoko Izumo. Ryoko. Yunasa from the Toa series versus Ryoko Izumo from the Oh, we got Chad Black, Chris from Team Fighters, and Yunasa Inuaka versus Ryoko Izumo, El Chavo, Mama Sesta. And Blade. Yeah, it's Blade. And looks like Nasa is once again showing how deadly Toll Carriers can be. We have projectiles. She is really giving Yuzoko a hard time, given her natural abilities of flooding up close. But, who knows. Either way, Nasa takes the first round. This might cause a challenge. Because those Shavel probably has some AI. But depending how these projectiles affect El Shavo. Who knows? Prison River, that's what they're called. The Prism River Scissors. Man! Lunasa is, once again, like Diosei, proving how deadly these solo carriers are at a range. There goes all the stuff. There she goes! Got the hits in. Causing some major damage on NASA. Man! Major damage! He's really laying loose now. But here comes the NASA for deck that get again. And let's see if Blade can take advantage of that power Monsusta did. Oh, Mons has a game. Right there. So you got who hits in. There he goes. He's just laying loose. He's over deck now. He might just be able to prevent no CV. And he did! But will he be able to do his own no CV? Let's find out. 
Next we have is Chen Blacks from Chase Manhattan. And Chen Black takes the win for the left team. Those are some fun matches today, folks. We got one OCV, one almost OCV, and sort of a close match in at the beginning. Alright, that's all for today's video. Thank you all for watching. Hope you guys remember there's gonna be no stream today. It's gonna happen tomorrow at the normal 3 p.m. time EST, but things came up. Regardless, thank you all for watching. And yeah, there folks.